There are 10 reasons you might not be ranking up as quickly as you should. And as your peak GC3 1700 rated coach, I'm here to share them with you so you don't have to be hard stuck in 2024. Mistake number one, over committing on offense. Mistake I see loads of low ranked players make is committing when they're the last man back. For example, if you're in 2v2 and your teammate passes you the ball in the middle, you have to understand that if you jump for this ball, you are the last man back. Meaning if you aren't first to this shot or you miss it, your goal can be left open for a counterattack. The best recommendation I can make is to be patient. Unless you're 99% certain that if you jump for the ball, you will get a clean beat. Unless that's the case, I don't recommend you go. Of course, as you rank up higher and higher, you can play more aggressive and get away with more mistakes because hopefully your recoveries will be better. But if you're low ranked, play patient and you're going to leave way less open nets. Well, open. Luke from the future here. And before you watch the rest of this video, I need to warn you about something. In the last year, I've uploaded 430 shorts and 70 long form videos. Bottom line is if you want to rank up this way, it's going to take a lot of time. That's why I've spent the last two months creating complete Rocket League courses for each skill level. And if you're wondering how much it costs to get all of them, it is, we get a drum roll, free. They're all free. If you didn't see my announcement last weekend, all these courses were part of the free edition of my coaching program called the Grand Champ Bootcamp Free Edition. The stuff I'm giving away in this community is stuff that most YouTubers would charge you 50, if not 100 bucks for. But because I want to crush the coaching competition, I'm giving it to you for free. Seriously, if you're suspicious, click the first link in the description below to check it out because it's completely free and you can leave whenever you want. P.S. Don't wait to join because I'm doing a private Q and A for anybody that joins in the first week. And as of the time this video goes live, you've probably got 24 hours before that event. So join up to get access and I hope to see you inside. Back to the tips. Mistake number two, leaving your teammate back alone. When I'm coaching diamonds and champs, especially, I hear a lot of players cope that their teammates aren't making saves when they're back in 1v1s. There is no reason you should be leaving your teammate back alone. So if you ever commit on offense, please do not go to your opponent's side of the field to pick up their corner boost if there's pressure on your net. If you're not rotating back to defense quickly, you have to assume your teammate is going to get scored on. Mistake number three, bad boost management. One of the main differences between free play and ranked play is of course you don't have unlimited boost. Managing your boost, knowing when you have time to collect pads and preserving all boost is key to actually being able to use your mechanics in ranked play. Mistake number four, slow, fast aerials. Double jump aerial where you jump, jump boost is actually the way I see most low ranked players aerial and it's wrong. The correct order is actually jump, tilt, jump instead of jump, jump, tilt. If you don't know what I'm talking about and you want a complete explanation of this, click the video on screen to see my fast aerial tutorial and learn how to fast aerial properly. Mistake number five, lack of patience. Because low ranked players just don't have very consistent mechanics, a lot of the times waiting and observing and just letting them make mistakes can be more effective than charging in. Of course, the game's going to speed up and you aren't just going to be able to sit and watch at the high ranks. But if you're anything rated champ or lower, be patient and you're going to have a lot more success in ranked. Mistake number six, failing to change to your teammates play style. We've all been in a solo queue ranked 2v2 game with a teammate who just won't stop chasing the ball. The best play to make if your teammate is a ball chaser is to let them chase. If you do try to commit with a ball chasing teammate, odds are they're going to keep going and then it's going to be a double commit instead of just a single commit. It's more important that you adapt in ranked than try to stick to some preset game plan. Mistake number seven, overlapping your coverage. I was first taught the concept of radius of coverage by the previous coach for Dignitas. Verge. Verge defines radius of coverage as the area around your car you can reach at any given time based on your speed, your mechanics, and of course, your boost. If you want to maximize your coverage, you want to minimize the overlap between your radius of coverage and the radius of coverage of anybody else on your team. Mistake number eight, ball chasing. Constantly going for the ball, regardless of your position or spacing, might feel good, but it can majorly disrupt plays and rotations. Sometimes the best play in Rocket League is just to occupy space. Just because you can go for the ball doesn't mean you should. Mistake number nine, not using the walls and ceiling to your advantage. The walls and ceiling can be used to make unpredictable plays, clears, 
and generate power from weird angles. Yet, a lot of low-ranked players completely ignore the wall and the ceiling, even when it's better to use it. But ignoring the walls and the ceiling and even your backboard limits your playmaking options and makes you a lot more predictable. If you're looking for a wall training pack, I'm going to link a list of over 150 shots from a guide maker called Kevpert. First link below. Finally, mistake number 10, focusing too much on mechanical skill over game sense. For the majority of new players to the game, new mechanics aren't necessarily what you need to train. Of course, the fundamentals are fundamental, and you need to be constantly improving your shooting and your aerials and your overall consistency. But if you're stressing about learning the newest pro mechanics that are dropping every week, you should know that there are other things that are more important. Understanding the flow of the game, making smart decisions, and being in the right position at the right time can often outweigh pure mechanical skill. Next time you get on, take five minutes to watch a replay. Watching replays of your own games, especially losses, can help identify your personal weaknesses better than you could ever do in the moment. But if you can just do a self check-in once a week or once every other week to keep a tab on yourself, you're going to be able to get rid of your bad habits and accelerate your improvement so much more than everyone else at your rank.